Okay, this is part two of the clipping path alignment exercise. So we're going to remove the hyphenation. So we need to select this text frame. You can click on it five times or double click and do a control A to select all the text. And then up in the paragraph formatting controls, take the check off hyphenate. Next, we want all the font on this page to be big and the font size going back to default size on the other pages. So when we come to character, we can see that this is coming at 12 point, which that's what will make our default. But we are going to change this font to Times New Roman. And we are going to change the size here to 18. Enter. We're also going to set the first line indent in the paragraph formatting to 0.25. Enter. The space after to 0.125. Enter. Remove any extra paragraph returns that might add too much space. So I can see there's one right here. I'll click there and delete that. Now we want to fine-tune the clipping path of this graphic and one thing I'm noticing is that I need to click here and I can see that I don't have too much text wrapping at this point so just for the purpose of showing you this I'm going to move her over a little bit more uh, because we don't have too much text to actually fix. Uh, just a little tiny bit. So I'm just moving her over enough to just make sure you can see how this works. Uh, so in order to do this, we need to uh, select the girl. Now she is selected. I can see this frame is quite large, so I would like to just fit this frame to the content just to make it a little bit smaller and fit just around uh, this girl. And actually, I am going to shift control and make her a little taller because she is in the original and I can see that. Okay, so now there's some text here, and that's basically, we want to get rid of this text. We want to get rid of this text. So in the Direct Select tool, uh, once uh, she is selected, you can see that when I hover over here, we can see the anchor points. So we're going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better here. And so we can either delete some or just move these out to get rid of far enough to whoop another one there and we have a whole slew of them here okay so that text is gone I'll double click and now we need to get rid of this text here so again I'm going to just Make sure we have access to these anchor points. And just move these over until we've changed the clipping path and gotten rid of that text. And I'll double click on the hand again to zoom out. So we have done that task. Now we need to make a background color. Let's fill the background of the page with the tint of the girl's t-shirt. Deselect all, so click off. Click on the fill icon in the toolbox. Choose the eyedropper tool. Click on the girl's t-shirt to sample the color. You can see that it's gone in here. In the swatches palette, you can see it's right there. It really doesn't look so orange to me. So I'm just curious. 
Okay, there we've got a lighter shade. And it shows up here. And we can just drag this swatch down to here. You can see the plus sign. And release the mouse. And there it is. It, step six, we need a lighter tint of this color for a background. So uh, we're going to have this selected and click in the menu here, New Tint Swatch, and we're going to move this over to make this a lighter color here. So it says to about 30%. So fine, there we go. And we'll say OK, and you can see that now we have a new swatch sitting in the panel. We'll put this background color on a separate layer. So open up layers. We're going to create a new layer. Name the new layer background. We'll just click there. Background, enter. Drag this layer to the bottom, so below layer 1. Click Create a Rectangle Frame that is the size of the document and fill it. I guess this is the rectangle frame, so we'll just be accurate here. Drag it around the document and fill it with the orange tint. So we'll come back to our swatches and click that. Finally, on this page, let's add a thin stroke below the text. So, below this text, placing objects on a page. So, we're going to the Pen tool. And, actually, I'm going to move this because you can't see my flyout for... Oops. You can't see it, but here is my Pen tool. I've gone on it to get it. And we want to click here. So one click, shift tool, second click. That kept it at a zero degree horizontal axis there. Hold the shift key to get it. And click under. All right, so we want this to be two points. So we, we can come here. Just do it from here, two points. Click off. That looks like it's in the right spot. We'll need a few more pages to contain the remaining text. So I'm going to stop this part two here, and we'll continue in video three.